Dear all, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we will understand about the roles and responsibilities of ASRE, Site Reliability Engineer, and also go through top interview question. So let's begin. Role of an SRE, Site Reliability Engineer. A Site Reliability Engineer, SRE, is responsible for maintaining the reliability, scalability, and performance of production systems. The role combines software engineering skills with operational expertise to automate tasks, reduce manual work, toil, improve system observability, and ensure high system availability. Key Responsibilities System Monitoring and Incident Response Infrastructure Automation, ISC, CICD Pipelines Error Budget and SLO Management Capacity Planning and Performance Optimization Root cause analysis and post incident reviews, post mortems. Collaboration with development and OPS teams to enhance reliability. Now let's go through set of interview questions with sample answers. First one What is SRE and why is it important? Response SRE applies software engineering principles to operations problems. It ensures systems are reliable, scalable, and maintainable by automating manual tasks and improving service availability, which aligns with business needs. Moving to next one. How do SREs define and use SLEs, SLOs, and SLS? Possible response. SLE, indicator metric of service health. Example, latency, error rate. SLO, objective target value. Example, 99.9% .9 availability. SLA, Agreement business level commitment, possibly with penalties. Moving on, what is an error budget and why is it important? Response, error budget defines the acceptable amount of risk, downtime, within the SLO boundaries. It balances reliability and release velocity by allowing calculated risks in deployment. Next, what is the difference between Devo PS and SRE? Response, Devo PS. Cultural Practice to Bridge Dev and OPS Teams SRE Practical Implementation of Dev OPS Principles Focused on Reliability with Added Emphasis on Automation, Observability and Measuring Toil Moving Further What is Toil? How do you reduce it? Response Toil is repetitive, manual, automatable work that does not add lasting value. Reduce Toil Through Automation Scripts Pipelines, self-healing systems, robust monitoring and alerting. Next, describe blue-green and canary deployments. Possible response. Blue-green, maintain to environments, switch to the new version after validation. Canary, deploy to a small percentage of users first. Expand rollout if stable. Moving to next one. How do you monitor system health and availability? Response. Using tools like Prometheus, Grafana, Elk, Azure Monitor, Datadog for Latency, Error Rates, Traffic, Saturation, System Uptime, 4 Golden Signals. Moving on, what is Chaos Engineering? Response, Practice of injecting control failures into systems to test resilience and uncover weaknesses before real incidents occur. Example, Netflix Chaos Monkey. Next, how do you handle an unexpected incident in production? Response could be, identify via alerts, classify severity, communicate with stakeholders, mitigate impact, perform RCA, document a post-incident report. Moving on, what is infrastructure as code, ISE? Name tools you've used. Response, ISE defines infrastructure via code. Example, Terraform, Ansible, Azure ARM templates to ensure consistency, scalability, and automation of infrastructure provisioning. Next, explain circuit breaker pattern. Response, prevents system overload by stopping requests to an unhealthy service, letting it recover. Helps improve overall system reliability and fault tolerance. Moving on, how do you ensure security in an SRE role? Response, Least Privilege Principle, IAM, RBAC. Secret Management, Vault, Key Vault. 
Regular Patching TLS Encryption Security Monitoring Defender for Cloud Azure Sentinel Next one How do you conduct capacity planning? Response Monitor system load trends Predict future growth Use load testing Implement auto scaling Maintain buffer resources Moving to next one What's the purpose of post-incident reviews? P. Possible response Analyze root cause without blame Document findings Identify action items Prevent future incidents Improve team learning and system design Next How do you balance reliability with innovation speed? Response Using error budgets If the system meets SLOs Innovation proceeds rapidly If not Stability becomes the focus. This balance ensures system reliability without slowing development velocity. Last but not the least, let's go through a list of common SRE tools used in various areas. For monitoring, it's Prometheus, Grafana, Datadog, Azure Monitor. For logging, it's Elk EFK Stack, Splunk. For the purpose of tracing, it's Jaeger, Zipkin. Deployment ISC. You can use Terraform, Ansible, Azure Arm. For automation, it's Jenkins, GitHub Actions, Azure Devo PS. Incident MGMT use PagerDuty, Ops Jenny. Thank you for watching. See you again on another video.